Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna see what inhibits the growth of bacteria more. Is it gonna be grapefruit seed extract, organic grapefruit seed extract, or colloidal silver? One of my earliest supporters, CC Alms, have reached out to me and asked if I could do some tests on grapefruit seed extract. So we started an email conversation and we came up with this plan. I'm going to conduct this test like the essential oils video that I made. I can put a link to that in the description if you're interested. What I'll do is I'll take some sterile swabs in a petri dish and I'm going to swab my kitchen sink and my toilet bowl. I'm going to smear the bacteria all over the entire dish. Then I'm going to place a drop of the grapefruit seed extract. The grapefruit seed extract diluted to what would be a cleaning solution as a cleaning spray. The organic grapefruit seed extract as well as diluted like it would be used in a cleaning spray. And also the colloidal silver and also the colloidal silver and it diluted also like it would be used in a cleaning spray. And we're going to see if any of those can inhibit the growth of bacteria on my petri dishes. So let's see if there's a difference between grapefruit seed extract, organic grapefruit seed extract, and let's see how well colloidal silver does at inhibiting the growth of bacteria on my petri dishes.
Before we get to results, I do want to clarify that the control section for these tests, we want to see a lot of bacteria. That means we did a good job at collecting bacteria and smearing it on the plate. Normally, in all of my other cleaning videos, we want that control area to be negative. We don't want anything to be growing there at all. I just wanted to point out that difference for people who have watched my other cleaning videos. Now for some results. Let's start with the organic grapefruit seed extract. It's the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. Section one was a full strength drop of the organic grapefruit seed extract, and we can see a slight decrease in the area in which the drop was placed. It's not hugely significant, but we can see a difference in the amount of bacteria right in that area as opposed to around it. Section two has the diluted organic grapefruit seed extract, and I don't see any decrease in bacteria at all in this section. Next, looking at the toilet bowl bacteria for the organic grapefruit seed extract. Section one, we can see a visible clearing around the spot where the drop was placed of the full strength grapefruit seed extract. In section two, we have the diluted organic grapefruit seed extract, and I don't see any difference at all in the growth of bacteria. Next, the non-organic grapefruit seed extract. So section three was the full strength one drop of the grapefruit seed extract, and we can see a huge clearing there. So you can absolutely see that the full strength grapefruit seed extract inhibited bacterial growth where we placed a drop on the Petri dish. Section four, that was the diluted grapefruit seed extract, and I don't see any difference at all there. When we look at the toilet bowl bacteria with the grapefruit seed extract in section three, full strength, we can definitely see again a clearing of bacteria around where the drop was placed on the Petri dish. And in section four, where we had the diluted grapefruit seed extract, I don't see any difference or any change at all in bacteria around the place where we placed the drop. Moving on to colloidal silver, let's look at the kitchen sink bacteria. So section five has a full strength drop of colloidal silver. Now the drop was very runny and it did move on the Petri dish. The grapefruit seed extracts were very thick, they're very viscous, so they didn't move when I placed them on the Petri dish. But the colloidal silver digs, it's very liquidy. And we can actually see where the drop rolled because there is less bacteria growing in that area. It's not as visible as that full strength grapefruit seed extract was. But we can actually see an outline where the colloidal silver was on the Petri dish. So it inhibited a little bit of the bacterial growth from my kitchen sink. In section six, where there is diluted colloidal silver, I'm not seeing any differences at all in growth of bacteria. Next, let's look at the toilet bowl bacteria with the colloidal silver. We can see in section five that there is less bacteria growing where the full strength colloidal silver drop was and where it ran down on the Petri dish. You can most certainly see an inhibition of growth there. In section six, where we had the diluted colloidal silver, I'm not seeing any differences at all. I'm really glad I was able to do this for Cece because she has been waiting a really long time and very patient with me um, for doing this test. It was very interesting to see a difference between non-organic and organic grapefruit seed extract. I didn't think there was gonna be a difference. I thought they were gonna show the exact same result, but we did see that the non-organic grapefruit seed extract was able to inhibit more bacteria than the organic. Cece did have a conversation with a practitioner who suggested that it may be the pesticides in a non-organic grapefruit seed extract that's actually inhibiting bacterial growth and you wouldn't see it in the organic grapefruit seed extract. It's interesting because I did find a greater decrease in bacterial growth in the non-organic than the organic grapefruit seed extract. So was it the pesticides or perhaps the concentration of grapefruit seed extract? So the non-organic one says it's 100 milligrams of grapefruit seed extract per 10 drops. And the organic one says it's 300 milligrams per 10 drops. So there's more grapefruit seed extract per drop in the organic than there is in the non-organic. So I don't think concentration is a factor here. So while I was doing the grapefruit seed extract, uh, experiment. I did choose to do one with the colloidal silver because a lot of people say that this works amazingly at removing bacteria. However, I, I saw a slight inhibition of bacteria. I didn't see anything huge, but it's interesting to see that it does have some ability to inhibit bacterial growth on the Petri dish. 
I did enjoy conducting this test. It's a little bit different than some of the cleaning videos that I make. I'm very happy that I was able to conduct this test for CC, and thank you, CC, for your patience and for this great idea. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section. I'll add it to my viewer suggestion list. My list is getting very long. We're well over 250 suggestions, and there are some great ideas coming from viewers. I'm doing the best I can to get through them. Or you can purchase something from my Amazon wish list. The link will be in the description. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description so that I know it is from you. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.